I am Paul Liebrandt, and these are the essential knives you will need in your kitchen. When you enter a kitchen, the variety of knives that are on offer can be very overwhelming at times. But I have chosen four essential knives for you to use in your kitchen today. These four knives are what you would need to do, I would say, 90% of all tasks given. Starting with the slicing knife. Slicing knives, as you can see, are always generally much longer, thinner bladed and are used for slicing fish, slicing meat, depending on the meat. Can be used for vegetables as well, but generally protein work. I don't hold the knife like this, like a, like a, like a baseball bat, no. I go up, I put my finger, so I can have balance on here. I like to feel the nice balance of the knife. Feel the length of the blade, and my hand fully on the handle. The second knife is what's known as the chef's knife. The chef knife can be used for fine details as well as for general preparation of chopping or slicing. As you can see, we have a beautiful array of chef's knives right here. Varying shapes, but the style is very different to that of a slicer. The shaft is obviously much thicker. You've got more heft on the heel of the knife. Instead of a long slice, you can get more of a cut or a chop. The third kind of knife is the petit knife, which is a smaller version of the chef knife. So this is something for, you could use this for vegetable work. This is very good for anything small that you're gonna be chopping or shaving. It's always better to, to cut something cleanly, like lettuce or a herb, than it is to tear it, because you bruise it. And then the fourth knife is the paring knife, the very small petite knife. This is used for vegetables, fruit, anything that requires a small blade where you're doing a shallow cut and you're not cutting where you have to do long cuts. This is very good for like small, delicate, fine cuts. But we've got a lovely radish, okay? Same idea. This is very good for cleaning. Practice makes perfect when it comes to knife skill. It really does. When you cut something, it's not just focusing on the item that you're cutting, it's your shoulder movement, how your body is positioned, how you stand is very important, how your shoulders line up with the board, with the knife, and the symmetry of your body. Watching your wrist, watching how your elbow moves when you do it, watching the front of the knife and the back of the knife is very important. Little things like this help to just make you a, just overall a, a good technique of what you're doing. It's not just chop and slice.